96 National Historic Site, also known as Old 96 and Star Fort, is a United States National Historic Site located about 60 miles 96 kilometers south of Greenville, South Carolina. The historic site was listed on the National Register in 1969, declared to be a National Historic Landmark in 1973, and established as a National Historic Site in 1976 to preserve the original site of 96, South Carolina, a small town established in the early 18th century. It encompasses 1,022 acres of property. History. The most common proposed etymology of the toponym 96 is a reference to the distance in miles between the location and the Cherokee town of Kiwi. Supporters of such an etymology have to struggle with the fact that the distance between the two locales is 78 miles. David P. George, Jr., has advanced the alternate hypothesis that 96 is a reinterpretation of the 9 and 6, a reference to two sets of southerly flowing streams, nine tributaries of Marion and Henley Creeks and six tributaries of Thompson's Creek—in an area in which the Saluda River tends to be fed by north and easterly flowing streams. Revolutionary War 96 had become a prosperous village of about 100 settlers by the time of the American Revolutionary War. The first land battle of the war fought in South Carolina took place at 96 in 1775, then Major Andrew Williamson tried to recapture ammunition and gunpowder taken by Loyalists, outnumbered, he finally reached a truce with them. The village became a Loyalist stronghold early in the war, though the backcountry of the Carolinas was populated both by those loyal to Crown and by partisans. The latter were often of Scots-Irish descent, though there were Loyalist Scots as well as migrants of other origins. 96 was fortified by the British in 1780, as they considered this a strategic location. From May 22 to June 18, 1781, newly appointed Southern Department Commander of the Continental Army, Major General Nathaniel Green led 1,000 troops in a siege against the 550 Loyalists defending the fort in the village. The 28-day siege centered on an earthen star fort. Despite having more troops, Green's Patriots did not succeed in taking the town. 96 was declared a National Historic Landmark in 1973, according to the South Carolina Department of Archives and History, the "...historic district of 96 National Historic Site contains numerous historical features." A special ceremony was held the weekend of May 20, 2006 to commemorate the 225th anniversary of the Battle of Star Fort. The site today The 1,022-acre 96 National Historic Site is located 2 miles .2 kilometers south of the present-day town of 96 on South Carolina Highway 248. The National Park Service maintains a visitor center that includes a small museum containing artifacts found at the site, as well as other period artifacts, and oil paintings of the battle and local leaders of the American Revolution. A video about the battle is available, and there is also a gift shop. Visitors can rent a self-guided audio tour of the park. A one-mile interpretive trail begins at the visitor center and takes visitors to the remains of Star Fort as well as the original site of 96. Additional off-road trails weaving through the woods lead to Star Fort Pond, an old unidentified cemetery believed to be a slave cemetery from post-colonial times, and to the graves of Major James Goody, a trader influential in the founding of 96, and Major James Mason, who captured a significant gunpowder cache to be used by the Americans. See also List of National Historic Landmarks in South Carolina National Register of Historic Places listings in Greenwood County, South Carolina